This is the XB70 Valkyrie. Uh, X means experimental, uh, B is bomber. Uh, it was designed in the 50s, about the same time the B-52 was designed. And the idea behind the airplane was it would go so fast that Soviet fighter planes would not be able to catch it and shoot it down. It's a really good idea. It could carry an enormous amount of bombs. It's one of the largest bombers we ever tried to build. Uh, and it could go three th or 2,000 miles per hour, Mach 3, for like four hours with a full bomb load. So very impressive plane. When it got up to speed, these uh, wing tips, the, actually a major portion of the wing, folded down and that kept more pressure underneath the plane to keep it aloft. It kept it also stable. Uh, uh, it famously has these canards up front that, that uh, uh, would keep it level, but this plane was almost as fast as the SR-71. Had to have the same anti-heating elements going on in it and so forth. Uh, it, the program got canceled when we realized the Soviets were developing such fast rockets that they wouldn't need a fighter airplane to shoot it down. So uh, they realized in the early 60s, okay, we're not going to need that particular bomber. They canceled the project, uh, but they learned a lot of stuff from it uh, about aeronautical engineering. Um, there's only one of them left. The, the, one, uh, one, the one that's left is in Ohio. The other one crashed. It was uh, the result of a collision in air. Um, but it was going to be a very effective airplane, but um, Soviet technology caught up to it before it got produced. Uh, very expensive project, too. So that's it. The XB-70 Valkyrie. One thing to keep in mind, I had to do this out of gray. The entire plane was actually white, except for the engines. The plane was white uh, in its original form. Um, also a little black up here in the front. But um, How many yeah. engines does it have? It has six engines, uh, and it could actually, unlike the SR-71, it could run on normal jet fuel. So, Good that's job, it. Boo. Thank you, Boo.